little... Yeah, it's got something going on there. It's got Quentin. a little chug on the low end there. Welcome, yes, Quentin sir. King. I'm Paul. We are at Music Villa in Bozeman, Montana, checking out the new line of tailors. Uh, they kind of re reimagined re re the yes. 400 series. Um, and uh, you know what? That's I, I like this one. So, you know, this looks a little different for a lot of folks who know the Taylor guitars because it is a different than what you normally see. Uh, it's the Grand Pacific. I mean, it's been around for a while now, but uh, at any rate, the Grand Pacific, it is a 400 series, so they call the Grand Pacific a 17. So this is a 417E, right? right. The so other the one seven, is the Grand Auditorium. Seven denotes the body shape. Is that correct? The, the 17, 17 is the body correct. shape. Okay, right. 400 is the series, 17. Right. We just did the Grand Auditorium, which is the 414. Mm -hmm. Now we're doing the 417. Gotcha. So 17 is this sloped shoulder, you know, it kind of looks like a looking thing. Looks like a sloped shoulder dreadnought, which yeah. is what it is. Um, it's cool. It's got a, I, I, you know, I, it's different. Um, it's a lovely hunk it's of rosewood. It's still there. not the dreadnoughty rosewood guitar that I'm used to hearing, mm -hmm. but it's got right. its own thing, which mm -hmm. is cool. I'm not, you know, it's good. I like it. Yeah. I uh, mean, compared to what I. Again, it's, going back to our most recent blindfold, where I, I picked up the eight, was it an eight fourteen? I think. Uh, yeah. And I, you know, when you took away yeah. the visual cues, when I, you know, when you take away the right. name and all that stuff, yeah. and you just listen to it, I was like, <laughs> I, I, it was hard for me. It to It was it funny out. because you had, you felt bass on that one, and I, I didn't really as much. I didn't because well, it's, you know, there's always a different uh, experience right. when it's up against you right. and on this side of the sound yeah. hole. And the um, blindfold really does. It throws you off Change a little things, bit, yeah. um, but I, I I really like the sound of that yeah. guitar, and it, it sounded different than what I would have imagined right. if I could have seen everything. But yeah. this one, because yeah. of that experience, now I'm going back and rethinking my impression of certain tailors. Because yeah. when they made the transition to V bracing, when they yeah. moved away from X bracing, uh, we started noticing mm -hmm. like the uh, the purported advantages of that with intonation and clarity, which yeah. I thought were always kind of there anyway yeah. for, for tailors, but um, it seemed more punchy and focused, but I'm I'm feeling like there's, I'm, I'm sensing more depth yeah. out of uh, Taylor's yeah. recently. And again, maybe it's just because of that experience watching yeah. myself fumble on the, you know, calling the brand in that video. But, but I mean, here you get, yeah. you get a little bit more depth, you get the, um, the feel of a dreadnought. More of a dreadnought sound, of course, yeah. from what you would expect it's in the little, Taylor family. Yeah, a little tighter. Tighter dreadnought sound, which isn't bad. Well, I didn't even tell you about the guitar, first of all. Oh, Let's yeah. talk about the Did new... What, okay. So yes. the new 400 series is uh, Tobacco Sunburst. Um, it's kind of Italian-themed inlay there, which mm -hmm. is pretty cool. Uh, of course, that is the V-Brace, all solid wood, Indian rosewood back and sides. Really cool little rosette there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's just a great line. The 400 series fits in really well. Uh, to get an all solid rosewood guitar, I, you know, it, like I said, this guitar used to be Ovencall way back in the day, and then they switched it to back to Indian rosewood, and uh, it's just a, it's a good line, and uh, it fits in very well in the price points with other brands and all that. So right. it's a it's a. I mean, the four series, I, I imagine, because you know, as you go up, you're you're getting presumably more premium quality right. woods, so the price goes up. So this gets you price in that goes sweet up, spot. you get more inlays, some of the like the eight hundred you get that little armrest and stuff. Mm -hmm. But but I mean this, this is this is this is, a, is kind of a good old workhorse kind of This guitar. is a workhorse, but it's also of that quality where it's heirloom. Yeah. Right. You know, this is when I, yeah. when I'm at this level, I'm very cautious of how I treat a guitar. Because yeah. you know this is there's a lot of quality in this instrument. And you know if it's treated uh, properly cared for and fed right, then it's going to last you forever. True. Very um, true. But, uh, you know, we should... Strum that again, yeah. and we're going to try that. Okay, that's the 417. Kind of dreadnoughty sounding. Yep. And this will be a grand auditorium. So when I get up to these 3 strings, 2, 3, 4 strings, that's where I hear the big punch difference, right? Yeah. Let yeah. me see that one okay. again. At least that's where I felt it. Well, now I'm hearing it sounds kind of the same. But that definitely has a more 
a kind of a boomy or dreadnoughty sound, right? I hear it when I'm on the yeah, yeah. Switcheroo here. Yeah, see, that sounds big. I mean, they both sound big to me. It's just so yeah. relative, right? When I you like. Start I, I just like the. But that would have its purpose. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Oh, I like this. One. Both are great. Yeah. That's why about 12 guitars. 12 guitars, yeah. If you're going to do it. Here, go back to this one because okay. this, this is what the video is about. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully we'll grab the right guitar when we do the yeah. video at the end. Yeah. Right? <laughs> but I think we found out that we like them both. The Dreadnought one. Yep. What I call a Dreadnought. The yep. Pacific. It's got more of that boomy Dreadnought versus the Grand Auditorium. I, I think so. I think so. But, you know, for me, like I say in the videos, it's, I like... Hopefully, yeah. everybody that's watching, I, I like to be on that side of the microphone yeah. uh, to hear it because that's when it really stands out. It's, it's, right. uh, it's a different experience, when, like I said, when it's yeah. up against you yeah. and you feel it, when it's transducing sound through your body yeah. uh, and you're not on that side of the, yeah. the soundboard. You know? So I can say, again, just I love the way they play. I really do. And again, now I'm wondering like, how much of that is my own. Yeah, preconceived bias because I've just always loved how Taylor's play, but it just feels like butter in your hand. Yeah, that's great. Okay, four seventeen yep. E, mm -hmm. new from Taylor, um, launch of the new four hundred redesign yeah. and uh, with the available here at Music Villa. Yeah, so check it out. Come mm -hmm. see us. Come visit. And thanks for watching.